eggs, the nutritional wonder of nature and the delicious poultry meat have penetrated deep in the culinary habits of the Indian population. The annual per capita availability has touched new heights, 48 eggs and 2.3 kilogram chicken meat despite large population being added every year. Backyard poultry farming of yesteryears has transformed into a full-fledged poultry industry providing direct and indirect employment to over 5 million people. With a net worth of over 400 billion rupees, now it accounts for 0.6% of the nation's gross domestic product. The Central Avon Research Institute, established on 2nd November 1979 at Bareilly, Uttar Pradesh, is at the helm of such a significant achievement. Besides its main campus at Izzatnagar, the institute has a regional center at Bhubaneswar, Orissa, catering the specific needs of the region. Popularly known as CARI, the institute is mandated to undertake basic, applied and adaptive research in all disciplines related to production of diversified poultry. It includes a variety of economically important and domesticated species such as quails, turkey, guinea fowl, Indian native fowls and ducks. The institute is committed to develop post-harvest technologies for production of diversified poultry products. Transfer of proven technologies and consultancy services including preparation of bankable projects for establishing poultry farms for end users is an important functional area of the institute. Carey has a definite vision and mission to take Indian poultry industry to new heights. With a view to realize its vision, Carey has developed a number of superior high-yielding germplasm of alternate poultry species for the poultry industry as well as the rural poor with meager resources for fighting poverty and malnutrition in the country. Japanese quails were first introduced in the country by Carey in 1974 and since then institute has been a nerve center for quail production technology in the country. The institute has developed four pure lines of quails of which Carey Uttam, Carey Pearl and Carey Shweta are reared for meat purposes whereas Carey Ujwal are popular lair quails. The commercial exploitation of Japanese quail varieties developed by the institute may serve as a savior of Indian wild quails protected under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Four superior dual-purpose varieties of indigenous fowl have been developed through crossing with exotic stains. These improved varieties are Kari Nirbhik, Kari Shama, Upkari and Hitkari. These are most suitable for backyard poultry due to higher egg and meat production, bigger size and weight, better disease resistance coupled with capability of bearing the stress of poor feeding and management. Improved turkeys are also available at carry for commercial exploitation. Popularly called carry Virat. Turkeys are in high demand during winters, especially in areas frequented by western tourists. Gunkari, improved varieties of guinea fowl are also available at Kari as an alternative to conventional poultry, ready for commercial exploitation. The Kari Regional Center at Bhubaneswar in Orissa has been mandated to focus primarily on ducks, keeping in view their popularity in the coastal regions. The center has two native and two exotic stains of ducks, namely Moti, Desi, White Pekin and Khaki Campbell. The carry also serves as one of the pivotal centers for the All India Coordinated Research Project on Poultry Breeding. Under its program on lair breeding for improvement of egg production, carry has developed commercial layers. The white egger, carry Priya, produces over 300 eggs per year. Kari Sonali lays over 280 eggs annually. 
under the All India Coordinated Research Project on Broiler Breeding for Improvement in Meat Production, Caribro Vishal, Caribro Dhanaraja, Caribro Mrityunjai, and Caribro Tropicana. The popular broiler chickens have been developed by the Institute for Diverse Agroclimatic Conditions. The multicolored and hardy Caribro Dhanaraja is in great demand for commercial broiler farming. Caribro Tropicana is suitable for semi intensive rural poultry farming due to better survivability, tropical adaptability, efficient feed conversion, and higher profitability. Biotechnological tools are also being employed for improvement of germplasm. Concurrently with the genetic improvement programs, CARI is also making concerted efforts for conservation of seven indigenous chicken breeds, namely Asil, Kalaknath, Naked Neck, Frizzle Fowl, Ankaleshwar, Red Jungle Fowl and more recently added Nicobari Fowls. A Windows-based software, Make Feed Poultry, has been developed for the poultry industry to formulate least cost poultry feed for different types and age groups of poultry species. Carry has developed improved health management practices for different poultry species. Vaccination schedules for major poultry diseases have been standardized. Post-mortem on the birds is done for diagnosis of poultry diseases. Carry standardized the technique of artificial insemination. It promises a manifold reduction in required number of males and avoidance of inbreeding among the birds. The post-harvest research and development of the institute focuses upon the technologies for value addition, quality assurance, efficient processing and marketing of poultry products and byproducts. Among egg products, pickled eggs, salted eggs, albumin rings, low-fat egg patty and egg crust pizza are popular, whereas chicken nuggets, chicken patties and chunklona are some of the meat products having good demand in the market. Six noteworthy technologies were granted patents by Government of India. Carry also supplies proven germplasm to public and private entrepreneurs. The institute has signed MOU with leading private hatcheries in the country for supply of quail pure lines on regular basis on payment of royalty. Carry offers postgraduate education in poultry science for meeting the manpower needs of R&D institutions and private sector. It also conducts regular training programs for promoting self-employment. The print and electronic media are used extensively to disseminate the technologies among end users and other stakeholders. The Poultry Science Museum displays salient achievements and activities of the Institute. In addition, the research achievements have contributed greatly towards socio-economic empowerment of small, marginal farmers and landless poor, economic upliftment and empowerment of women in rural areas, and household nutritional security, especially for weaker sections of the society. The Institute has reoriented its perspective plan, Vision 2025, to face and meet the future challenges. The Central Avian Research Institute is marching ahead with its vision, mission and commitment to bring cheers and smiles in poultry sector across the country. Confidence is reigning. Hopes are alive.